First topic is pensioners. Who wants to come in on that? <laughs> Frankie Boyle. We've just heard that Britain, for the first time, has more pensioners than teenagers. What a terrifying statistic for the country's paedophiles. <laughs> No wonder Gary Glitter didn't want to come back. <laughs> In 20 years' time, we'll have the first generation of pensioners who can text each other. I've got Alzheimer's, man. <laughs> yeah, you told me that like 20 times already, man. <laughs> to balance the economy out, what we should do, we should give pensioners more money, but only if they take up really dangerous sports. <laughs> Here you go, an extra 100 quid a week if you start quad biking through safari parks wearing a suit made from ham. <laughs> it's not how old you are physically, is it? It's how old you are mentally. I mean, my granny is, what, 83? But she has the mind <laughs> of a two-year-old. <laughs> <I'm... laughs> Just a joke, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. Yeah. Subject is young people. Ever. <laughs> uh, young people. They're, well, they're very scary, aren't they? Uh, and I remember being scared of young people uh, when I was young. But <laughs> so when I'm grown up, I'll be bigger than them and I won't be scared of them anymore. And then they armed themselves, which I felt really unfair. <laughs> I'm not scared of, like, goths or emos, which is kind of a shame, cos goths make more of an effort to look scary. It's, <laughs> it's almost a shame they're not scary. They make more of an effort, and they give that look, like that, mm -hmm. does my vampiric countenance not chill you to your bones? <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> like I said, one hoodie in there, it'll be like a dog worrying sheep. Don't annoy me. <laughs> Getting stepped to by an emo. You're an emo, for God's sake. I think between the two of us, we both know who you're most likely to harm. <laughs> Well done, Ed Byrne. OK, that leads us Stuart and Russell. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is relationships. Who wants to come in with that? Russell. Britain, I have sexual advice for you. That's right. Um, <laughs> when I was 18, I used food in the bedroom. Now, don't ever do it. It didn't go well, right? Rather than... I used Rolo yoghurt. And rather than tell... <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Rather than tell my then-girlfriend what I had planned, I pretty much waited for her like some hideous yoghurt goblin, right? <laughs> now, I doubt there's anything more terrifying than coming home to find me naked, holding yoghurt, going, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> and I panicked, and rather than putting a little bit on, I pretty much basted her, right? <laughs> By the time I'd finished, she looked a bit like Morph. You're sat there. <laughs> I created an angry meal. You don't know where to start licking. You don't want to lick randomly, then she looks like she's got an illness. So, <laughs> I did foot up to knee. That took me an hour. An hour, so I was just... <laughs> <laughs> she looked like an angry gingerbread lady who'd had her leg dipped in Tipex, right? <laughs> it didn't end there. I was like, I can't help you. The door opened, one of my dogs ran in <laughs> and started licking the other leg! <laughs> Never use food in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Russell Howard. So that leaves us with Stuart. Let's have a look at the last topic then. And the topic is family. Stuart. <laughs> Before I uh, rock the microphone, I want to. Um, <laughs> I, want to I want to dedicate my performance to my father, who was a roofer. So, Dad, if you're up there. I'll tell you about my family. I'm the youngest of three. My parents are both older, and, um... <laughs> I have mixed-race parents. My father prefers the 100 meters, and... Uh, <laughs> my mother's Pakistani. <laughs> I was raised by my father. My mother left before I was born, and, you know... <laughs> I like being raised by my father. He's schizophrenic, but he's good people. <laughs> I remember one summer I was five and he was uh, Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the park that day. I love parks. Standing in the park today wondering, why does a frisbee appear larger the closer it gets? <laughs> and then it hit me. 
My uncle's a hypnotist who has never inappropriately touched me. <laughs> I, uh, I have to leave now. I'm a member of Over Actors Anonymous, yes. and we have an Over That's Actors great. Anonymous meal that starts in... <laughs> <laughs> Points go to Frankie and Stewart.